Okay, so our final daddy -o, Joseph. Voted Maple Bay's, oh wait, Joseph Christensen. Voted Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running. Living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. <laughs> Jack, you're funny. On a Friday night, you are most likely to meet the community in a fun mixer. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? My six strain. What are your turn-ons? My loving wife. Such a boring answer. <laughs> I kid, I kid. What did you want to be when you grew up? Ship captain. What's your favorite movie genre? Feel good movies. <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> What's your ideal date? Lovely night on the town with my wife. What do you never leave home without? The good book. <coughs> Bible. I spent a lot of time thinking about how I could be a better man, husband, and father. All relatable kind of things. You know what? Let's go on that first date. I could go at least get through the first date. Which I've pretty much done every other time I play this game. <laughs> The routine has seems to be finish a dad's second and third dates, start off a dad's first date, then cut off the stream, then return, finish the two ending dates, get started on the first date, cut off, and rinse and repeat till the very end. That seems to have been the pattern this entire Dream Daddy playthrough, which is hilarious to me. His family is a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait. How do I hang out with a priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? I imagine Joseph's family staring at me as I fumble through some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too Jesus-y. A light smattering of Jesus. <laughs> as a Catholic, I find this hilarious. Will he want me to pray? Is he going to pray at me? Do I have to pray at him? Talking to Joseph, huh? Yeah! Amanda, how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me like that? I selectively ignore it, ignore it every time you do, Pops. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Jack, I swear to goodness, if you call me out again... I'm... No, I'm not gonna be happy. Lindsay, it's called nothing happened. <laughs> hey, are you doing okay there, kiddo? I'm fine. Oh, of course. I'm fine. Ah. I just started thinking about how there are a bunch of people who still don't think aliens exist, and it's bumming me out. Like, space is so infinitely huge. Just because you can't conceive it doesn't mean it can't exist. <laughs> Good, Jack. Good staying silent. <laughs> wow, it sounds like I'm, like, being abusive. <gasps> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Why does everyone say that to me? Like, yes, ma'am. I'm not that scary, am I? <laughs> am I really a ma'am? I don't know. I still sometimes think I sound like a preteen. <laughs> and I understand the Fermi paradox, but to completely write it off, write off aliens, there's so much stuff we just don't know. I'll be okay. I'm glad. But aliens are definitely out there, and I hope they'll one day be my friends. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle, I appreciate that. But I'm fine, really. I'm not convinced, but it's not bad. Bad rate her about it. Talk about when she's ready. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. I'll just keep bugging you about it privately. Why do I feel like that's not much better? <laughs> oh, my phone is dying. 
Oh, it's at 20%. That's fine. You'll survive. But I've never been friends with a priest before. What do I talk about? My favorite Bible passages? Ice cream socials? Khakis? He's not... Well, okay. At least in the Catholic denomination, he can't be a priest because he's married with kids. But it might be a different denomination where they allow priests to be married. I don't know. I don't think he's actually a priest, though. I thought he was just a youth minister. Am I crazy? I don't know. I don't know how this works. I think I do, and then someone tells me I'm wrong, and then I don't know what I'm doing anymore. First of all... Oh! Okay, cool. Amanda corrected me. First of all, he's youth minister with a tattoo. Not a priest. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> There's a difference? Nathan! Dad. You're overthinking it, Dad. Listen, just put it like this. <sighs> Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon if you're not too busy. Ozzy and Lindsay at the same time, too, corrected me. Or confirmed my rightness. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't that a little too business casual? Hmm. Fine, fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. Minister and priest are interchangeable to the non-bibled. <laughs> non-bibled. That's funny. I thought they were the same thing. Oh, Jack, we need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk if I'm going to start slowly teaching you about my religion. <laughs> uh, Amanda focuses on the keys. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting you and your family. I'm still new around here, so if you'd like to, if you'd like, I'd love to hang out and get to know you. See ya, smiley face. The smiley is a nice touch. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What do you say? Hi, Nathan. If you're not doing anything in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bake sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'll be a blast, so let me know. Joseph. Huh, that wasn't so bad. I'll take the classes. <laughs> you're cute. He uses a lot of exclamation points. I just realized that he... Well, he only used three, because that one sentence was hella long. But yeah, otherwise. Hmm? I'm more concerned about him signing his name with a tittle. Tilde. Not a tittle. That's different. A tilde. I'm willing to let it slide this time. Uh, yeah. I respond back. Sounds like fun. Nathan. Great. Come on by the house as soon as you're ready. We'll be here. Well, guess I'm doing this. Save a brownie for me? Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore. Amanda stares at me. I'm blinking. I don't make promises I can't keep. Real to a fault, Pops. Dad. And Dad, please don't be weird about the religion thing. Me? Weird? Never. I make the short walk over to Joseph's place. Don't be weird, Nathan. But what if they hang up a bunch of crosses or collect those little porcelain babies? What if they're all praying? Do they pray before dinner? During dinner? Over the porcelain babies? <gasps> this is hilarious. The door begins to creak open. A shadowy figure obscured on the other side. Who's there? Uh, Nathan? The door opens the rest of the way. It's Joseph Eldest. What's his name? Hey. Hey. Uh, I think it's Krish. Let me confirm. Oh, it doesn't say. Guide, you're supposed to be helping me right now. I think it's Krish, but it could be Chris. I'm gonna go with Krish. It's Chris. Date it! I almost had it. I second guessed myself. Load. I'm getting this right. Unless I'm just set up to fail. Which is another possibility. Chris. 
Hi again. It's... I'm Nathan. I know what your name is. Oh yeah, we met at the barbecue. How's the, uh... Please don't say it. Jesus! <laughs> Nathan! You're supposed to be the male version of me. Why are you like this? <laughs> How's the Jesus? <laughs> oh, I need to start saying that just to mess with people. How's the Jesus? Oops, that's not how you spell it. I can't type and be on alcohol. Boop. Chris blinked slowly. Maybe he didn't hear that. You're weird. Is your dad... Before I finish, Chris walks into an adjacent room, leaving me in front of the open doorway. Home? This was a great first impression. For a moment, I wonder if I should just go in, further subjecting Joseph's family to my winning attitude and artful charisma. Mercifully, Joseph uh, peeks his head around the corner. Oh. Nathan, you made it. Joseph approaches with his arms wide. Oh. I'm so glad you could come by. Are you ready to bake? I am not. I am as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> That's the kind of semi-confidence I like to see in a baking assistant. Come on in. Eh. Oh, well. That's a cool house setup. It's a little too, like, look at me. I really love fishing, or I love sailing kind of thing. But it's honestly really cute looking. I love the little plushies and stuff, especially. It's cute. Hey, Raven. Joseph leads me into a bright, spacious home full of nautical knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's actually pretty charming. Me too. <laughs> Thank you, Majority DG. I don't know why. Every time I see your username, I want to say, like, JD or JG, and I don't know why. Because that's clearly a D in your username. But for some reason, the letter J keeps popping in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> Majority DJ. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, yeah. I believe you've met Chris, who left you outside. Oh. Chris? Hmm? Uh. Are you going to apologize? Oh, right. Sorry. I try to make eye contact with Chris, but he keeps looking away. He must be really shy. I wouldn't call that attitude shy, but okay. It's all right. Next time, just be a little more inviting to our guests, okay? Sure. Chris seems to relish the chance to escape the conversation and quickly vanishes into his room. Joseph turns to me apologetically. Yeah. Don't take it personally. Chris likes to keep to himself. I mean, we didn't start off on the best foot in the world. Plus, being the eldest in a big family can't be easy. Hmm. We try to cut him a little slack where, where we can. Ah, and here are the twins. Christian, Christy, say hello to Nathan. Hello, Father. Hello, Nathan. Hmm. Kids, come on. Dial it back on the creepy twin stick. Creepy twin stick? Uh, what's the correct answer? Egg them on. All right. Can you two say, come play with us, Danny? Oh. Oh, no. The twins stare up in unblinking unison. Come play with us, Danny. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Joseph covers his mouth and looks away, but he cl he's clearly holding back a big laugh. This is it. This is my dad world series. Okay, now say... Please help us, Mothra. Please help us, Mothra. Yeah. No, I can't take it. Joseph has tried his best not to break in front of his kids. The twins seem to be catching on and look eager to burst their dad. But can we keep it up? Uh, what am I going with? Uh, obscure sounds good. Creepy seems too much. Now say, he who walks behind the rose... 
The twins tilt their heads in confusion. Uh oh. He who he walks. He who behind <laughs> some rows. <Good> <laughs> The room is silent besides Joseph absolutely losing his mind. That last flub really sealed it. <laughs> Children of the corn? Really? I figured that's what that line was from. That's funny. Is that not mainstream? I am off my game. Something fierce today. Great job, guys. We're scary. I was very scared. Maybe... I still think they're pretty creepy, but maybe they're not as bad as first assumed. I'm not going to say, like, confirm this feeling. I'm just saying for the time being. Joseph can't take it anymore. Despite his quiet protestations, he's laughing pretty hard into his hand, and the kids giggle with him. They did look really cute in that shot, I'm not going to lie. The twins, obviously pleased with the new arsenal of spooky weapons leave the room to terrorize the rest of the community my work here is done nice i'm going to be hearing those lines for weeks next time we hang out i'll try to teach them some lines from the thing oh. all right so it looks like we've got a bit of a troublemaker on our hands you think you could out trouble a career pro i don't know about that Ooh, cracker bits. i'm slowly interrupted by a loud crash from the kitchen what now oh. That doesn't sound good. Christy? No one responds. Joseph first has brown emotions for me to stay where I am. <laughs> Wait here a minute. Joseph rushes into the kitchen. I remember this with Amanda. Half of fatherhood is trying to keep your kids from finding creative ways to kill themselves. And he's got four. Talk about worry. I take a seat on his surprisingly pristine couch and twiddle my thumbs. Uh... Uh, apparently, it's not telling me an actual option, so I guess I could just examine whatever the frick I want. It's probably just, I'm gonna probably have to end up examining everything. Examine bookshelf. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. It looks handmade. Did Joseph build this? There's a big stack of what looks like travel magazines. Hyenas of the Serengeti, the underwater mysteries of the Ant Antarctic, and on and on. Seems like Joseph really loves a good adventure. Unless this is a Mary thing. Who knows? Next to them are a couple of different Bibles. Looks like he's covered all the Bible bases. King James, New American Standard, the Bible 14s. He is a cool youth minister after all. On a higher shelf, there are a bunch of old romance novels. Judging by the wine stains, these must be Mary's. The newest one looks like Hot Body Johnson. Sex Detective! <coughs> Oh, the kind of romance novels I hate. The eighth installment in... Wait, this is a series? There's a couple cool knickknacks on the coffee table in front of me. Hey, a cross. Hey, another cross. This one looks a little different. And a third cross. Unified design aesthetic. Smart choices. There's also a brass thing here. It looks like something a sailor would use to navigate with. I think they're called sextants. I think that's what they're called. Or sextons, like with an O. I don't remember. Eh, sex. Oops, I meant to check examine floor, but... Oh well. It's been a while. I guess I should go in the kitchen and see what's up. <laughs> I walk into the kitchen to find Joseph holding Christy in one arm. She seems a lot calmer than she was a minute ago. She actually looks adorable in this shot. I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. Oh. The twins are a lot more manageable when they're separated. Where's Christian? Yeah. He ran off. Christy dips a spoon into the brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it's too sweet. Yeah. You're too sweet. No, I'm not. Mm. You're so sweet we might have to water you down with spiders. No, not spiders. Joseph begins tickling Christy with his free hand. Between the laughing and squirming, I don't know how he's got a hold of her, but that girl is locked in place. 
The man is a professional child wrangler. Still a double child. <laughs> Christy fixes me with her best puppy dog eyes. Yeah. Save me from the spiders. Uh, I think it's the first option, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that chat. Uh, fight, fight, fight! <laughs> right? Spoon duel the spider cane. I grab her wooden spoon and point it in Joseph's direction. Unhand her, foul beast! <laughs> okay, Nathan the Valiant, let's see what you've got. You may have defeated me at Tarantula Ridge, but now I have the upper hand. Joseph Jelly puts Christy down behind him. Have you come to squash me, knight? Or have you merely fallen into my web? I'm no mere fly, Spider King. Now on guard! For a minute or so, Joseph and I mock duel with the two dumbest looking spoons in the room. Eventually, I strike a killing blow in the invisible heart between his arm and his body, and Joseph recoils in horror. Oh, Kirk Douglas! Blast! I am defeated! You could never best me, Spider King, for I have the power of. Uh -huh. I sneak a taste from the brownie batter. The magic? Oh man. That is way too sweet. Right. Christy begins jumping up and down excitedly. My hero! Christy hugs my leg before making a surprisingly fast exit. Yeah. Hey, wait! Do you want to bake brownies with us? Christy hesitates, then shakes her head no again. Sparkle pony. Ooh, uh... Sparkle pony? Joseph looks confused. Mm. You don't want to bake with Dad now? You want to play with Sparkle Pony? Yes. Uh. Okay, go. Before Joseph can even finish his sentence, Christy is out, is out the door and down the hall. Ahead. Uh. Joseph sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tastes it again, face twisting. Uh. And that is still way too sweet. So what made that crash? Uh. Egg beaters on linoleum, linoleum floor. <laughs> it's my new techno signal. Single. Still haven't thought of the of a B-side. Now we're both looking into the batter. It's got a sickly sheen of sugar and chocolate candies throughout. And I have a feeling Christy had something to do with it. Mm. We need a fresh start. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm not really a baker, but... <laughs> Don't even sweat it. The bag came with instructions that have mysteriously vanished along with my daughter. So we'll probably be fine. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. He certainly looks confident. Alright, Nathan. You've baked a cake from a box before. Once. How hard could this be? <laughs> now grab a spoon and get ready to rock. Mario Batali. Save me. Joseph and I set to work, cracking the eggs and mixing the things, and then pouring the things according to how we assume the back of the box would tell us to. Things go according to plan, and soon enough, we have a solid batch of brownies. Yeah. Whew. I feel like a mini game should have been there. Or maybe that was just my brain imagining there was about to be a mini game. Famous last words, I know, right? Wait. Joseph had a little dot of batter on his nose. Wow, Nathan, way to use those dad skills. I bet you've baked a few box mixes in your time. His nose. Joseph. Oh. All we have to do is bring these to the bake sale and voila, duty done. <clears throat> yeah. Now help me find Christy. Keep your eye out for a pony that sparkles. Joseph, hold still. This is going to keep bothering me until I fix it. Mm. What? Thumb in position and... Got it. Yeah. Joseph's eyes grow wide as I gently wipe the chocolate off his nose. Is he blushing? <gasps> He's a closet gay. Closet gay! Oh, oh uh, th th thanks. No problem. I know I'm very seducing. 
Joseph. It's okay. <laughs> In less than a second, I've tickled, licked the batter off my finger. It's really good batter. We, uh, we should find Christy. Yes, yes, we should. Do that, Nathan. Joseph quickly composes himself. All right, she can't be far. You take the delta position and I'll watch your six. Do you even know what that means? Wink. Alpha Tango Sparkle. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Joseph starts making his way down the hall and calls back to me. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I baked earlier today while I get Christy. We'll meet you out by the car. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> With a sweater like that, how is that not obvious? You have a point, Drac. You do have a point there. Joseph, Christy, and I arrive at the church parking lot to find fold-out tables and pop-up tents already set up. Looks like the bake sale is already in full swing. Yeah. Wow, this place is packed. Is this packed? There are a few people milling around. Must be a value pack. Oh. If you could count a city's population on your fingers and toes, this counts as packed. Point. Christy rockets out of the car and into the lot. Is she running on jet fuel? I want to sell brownies. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's get set up. I want to see mom. Hey. She's down by the other row of tables helping out with another group. Want to go over there and tell her I said hi? Mom! Christy zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Does she always run that fast? Wow. Yeah, and I could only catch her half the time. These knees aren't what they used to be. I remember when Amanda was her age. I couldn't get her to sit still for five seconds. <laughs> yep, great age to deal with. Oh. While Chris, oh, now my phone's dying at 10%. Good to know. <laughs> While Christy's gone, Joseph and I arrange all of our baked goods on the table and settle in. So, are we allowed to eat any of our own goods? <laughs> Look, if I don't see nothing, I don't say nothing. The man upstairs has strong feelings about stitches. He's got a point. Does he actually? Aye. Joseph shrugs. He eats a brownie. Looks like some of the other stalls are selling drinks, little handmade crafts, and other sweets. Well, someone brought a soft serve ice cream machine. I gesture to it. How are we supposed to compete with that? Hmm. Please, this isn't my first time up to the rodeo. The bake sale rodeo. I love how that's a phrase both he and Mary have said. That's kind of funny. Hmm. There's actually no rodeo here. It's just a bake sale. Oh. I think you and I put together put together can make one pretty convincing argument for these brownies, don't you? Uh guide? Oh yeah. <laughs> we high five. If you bake it, they will come. It's not long before we have our first customers. Hello, my first love. Hey. Hey, dude. Hiya. Matt, Carmencita. Great to see you guys out here. Hey, yeah. Happy to support a good cause. Plus, you know as the owner and pr proprietor of the Coffee Spoon, an establishment that specializes in baked goods. I have to sc scope out the competition. Joseph leads close to me. This guy knows his stuff. Stay on your toes. Hmm. So, what recipe did you use for these brownies? Don't say you used the box recipe. Don't say you used the box recipe. We used the box recipe. What's the answer? We improvised. Oh yeah, because we legit did not use the box recipe because the box recipe went missing. So we legit improvised. I just let the baking spirit move through me. You know, a little bit of flour here, a pinch of salt there. It's sort of like interpretive dance, but with cooking. Interpretive cooking, yes. You can never make the same thing twice. Every batch is special. There will never be another batch of brownies with the exact flavor sensation that these right here have. Uh -huh. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, Matt. Uh -huh. All right, all right, we'll take two. Actually, we'll take three. I ring them up and high-five Joseph as our happy customers walk away. Oh. See? Not so hard. Yeah, I'm hot off the good feelings from the last sale. Who's next? We sell brownies to a bunch of people I don't recognize, but who clearly know Joseph. Eventually, another family, a familiar face pops up. 
Nathan! It's Brian. Ugh. Close enough. Can we interest you two in any of our fine sweets and treats? You sure can. I bet I could eat ten brownies. Must resist. Urge to be competitive. Uh, let the man buy his brownies. So we'll put you down for ten? <laughs> Better make it just two. One for me and one for Daisy. Smart move, Brian. Oh. And smart move, Nathan. Coming right up. You excited for youth group movie night, Daisy? Yeah. What's the movie? It's a surprise. Joseph leads over to me. Hey. It's the Fast and the Furious. I didn't think that'd be at a church movie night, but okay. Really? Oh. If you think about it, there's some heavy religious undertones. Joseph hands it back to Daisy. Oh. I made sure to give you guys the edges. Hey. Clearly the superior part of the browdy topography. Thanks, Joseph. They're not wrong. I don't know if they're exactly right, but they're not wrong. Our two customers walk off with their purchases. Joseph and I survey our stock. Yeah. These are selling pretty high. At this rate, we'll have enough money to pay for a new paint job on the church pews in no time. Probably gonna make it pay it forward instead. Make all the youths cry. I don't know, Lindsay. I've never watched The Fast and the Furious. If there's Christian undertones in it, I'd be surprised. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the pews? Oh. Ernest spray painted his rapper allies onto them. Jan Steinbeck. Oh, alias. What did I say? Allies? I'm tired. <laughs> rapper alias onto them. Jan Steinbeck. I would have gone for young man in the sea. But I can respect that. Uh, Speaking in min minis ministerial terms, Ernest is hard to reach. Uh, in father terms, Ernest is kind of a turd. <laughs> Being a cool youth mister seems like a lot of work. Uh, it is, but it's worth it. Uh, Although, sometimes I wish... There isn't anything to do with Christianity. Oh, okay. Got to know, Lindsay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, he has regrets. He has regrets. Tell me about them. Never mind. What? It's kind of silly, but... Do you ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around on a beach somewhere in the tropics? Drink fruity blended beverages? Fall asleep on a hammock? You know, basically live out a Jimmy Buffett song. Joseph, I think about this every single day of my life. <laughs> my dream is to live in Margaritasville. <laughs> one day, my friend, one day we'll be on island time. I'm still here. It about the importance of family. Oh, okay. <laughs> We make a couple more sales to some more church patrons. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Off the distance, I spot my old buddy, Craig. Oh. Craig! Yeah. He's gonna be a hard sale. Craig's a fitness man. I think he comes to these bake sales to test himself, to see if he has the resolve to refuse processed sugar. Hmm. Are you sure you're ready for this? We go way back. I got this. Oh. Craig jogs up to our table with Briar and Hazel in tow. They each finishing an ice cream cone, so it's unlikely we're going to sell them on brownies, too. Probably won't be able to sell to the baby. She's impossible to read. It all comes down to Craig. Uh -huh. Hey, bros. Hi, Uncle Joseph. Hi, Amanda's dad. Uh -huh. Would you be interested in one of our delicious homemade brownies? Hold up, what's going on, chat? <laughs> When the temp outside your house is in the negatives, hell yeah, you dream of laying on a warm beach. Yup. Yup. Absolutely agreed. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. 
Ah, you can't spell die without die. Ah. Okay, so the correct answer is remember that one time. Hey, Craig. When we were freshmen, remember how our next door neighbors prank pranked us by switching out our laundry detergent with dish soap and how the washing machine exploded with suds? And then we decided to get back at them by baking brownies for them, but sprinkling high-intensity hot sauce into the mix, and then we watched them cry after eating it. Oh. <laughs> I would feel bad, but we had to clean up the laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are like that, but without the hot sauce. Maybe you should get one more, for old time's sake. I... Craig thinks for a second. Hmm. Well, the girls just want a game. Oh. You know what? We'll take one for each of us. Hey. Even River? Oh. I'll eat hers. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you've got yourself a deal. The day winds down and we're pretty much out of items to sell. Everyone starts packing up. Christy eventually comes back and immediately falls asleep in Joseph's folding chair. Boxed mix, huh? Give it a rest, buddy. Mary saunters up to us. She looks like she'd rather be anywhere else than here. Hmm. Oh, hi, honey. Yep, they're selling like hotcakes, which is... Actually, they're just brownies. Cute. Oh, God. And boring. And safe. Um, hey, Mary. Mary's eyes start over to me. Hmm. What's the rookie doing here? Hmm. I was just hoping to introduce Nathan to the rest of the community. Hmm. Uh-huh. You get a load of this freak show? What? Ah. Weird folk is all. Holier than thou types. Huh? Don't you think, Nathan? <laughs> Mary. Ugh. Let the kid answer the question. Uh... <laughs> Shove a brown in your mouth so you can't talk. That's funny. They seem nice. Seems like a good safe answer. I almost clicked on they're kind of weird. Oh my gosh. They, uh, they all seem like they're really excited to help out the church. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mary, can we talk about this later? Ugh. Oh, am I embarrassing you in front of your new friend? Joseph doesn't respond, trying his hardest to keep his cool. Mm. Can we please talk about this later? <laughs> sure thing, honey bear. Ah. Mary starts at attention to me. Hand over the cash. Uh. Mm. Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm in charge of the funds here. I hand over the cash we've made. That's not very Christian-like, by the way, to just be like, Oh, Jesus, or oh my god. <sighs> it feels like a hefty wad, wad, if I may say so myself. Ah, Thanks. Hey. Now give me your wallet. What? Huh? Give me your wallet. You think this church is going to fix itself? Mm. Mary? Hey. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Sorry, I'll work on the whole pretending to be happy thing. Oof. Mary leans in and whispers to me. Mm. He's really good at it. Oh, snap. Sounds like they really have a messed up relationship. Mary walks off without saying goodbye. Yeesh. Um, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, brownies fix everything. I think I'm gonna save I'm not sure because the guide says like edited so I don't don't know if they like picked something before or if this got changed or this brownie will alleviate alleviate the situation oh. I take a brownie and split it in half offering it to Joseph he takes it we eat how's that feel <laughs> better <laughs> you ready to head out Joseph and I load the folding tables and back into my Joseph and I load the folding tables back into my car. Christy nods off the moment Joseph straps her into the car seat. Yeah. If Christy and we were at the thing and Mary was at the... Oh, excuse me. Was at the thing. Where were Chris and Christensen or Christian? Christian? Yeah. And the baby. Where were those other kids? Were they also there? 
I drop Joseph off in front of his house. A small yawn, yawn sneaks out of me. I wasn't sure if I read that right, but yep. Looks like I tuckered you out, huh? I'm a sleepy dad. I think I might finally be crashing from all the sugar. <laughs> I, wanna keep, I won't keep you up then. Thanks for helping out today. Happy to do it. Also happy to eat brownies. Well, next time I promise we'll do something a bit more exciting and a bit less free labor. And I'm very sorry about the whole thing with Mary. You sure enough have had to see that. It's fine, really. Uh, yeah. I know, but first hang out domestic problems aren't a good luck. You barely know me. Uh. Let me make it up to you next time. It won't be Margarita's will, but we'll do something fun. Promise. I smile. I like that. Hey. Oh, and one last thing. Joseph tosses a clean wrapped brownie through the window. It hits me in the face, but I'm able to catch it. <laughs> it's the last one. You earned it. Joseph, please don't leave me alone with this brownie. Nope. Too late. I'm already walking away. But, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Run away. Accept my brownie. Accept my feelings. Joseph walks up to his home. He waves at me before carrying Christy inside. Well, looks like it's just you and me, brownie. Uh, oh, apparently there's no correct answer. I am going to save that brownie for later. I pocket the brownie. This might come in handy down the road. Eh? I step inside to find Amanda doing homework on the couch. Eh? Hey, father unit. Hi, child that I'm required by law to care for. How's homework? Eh? It's really fun and educational. Really? Eh? How long have you known me for? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. How was the bake sale? Good. I think I really could have made a good life for myself as a brownie salesman. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Ah. So... So what? Mm -hmm. Were there an ex any extra brownies? Or did you maybe sneak one? Or... I think for a moment and realized I still had the brownie that Joseph gave me. This would probably do better in someone else's stomach than mine. Aw, uh, good job, me. I saved a brownie for my daughter. I forgot she asked me that at the beginning of this date, but now I feel good that I saved it for later. Heads up. Hey. Wait. I hurl the brownie towards Amanda. It hits the wall behind her and falls on the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> nice throw. She scoops it up and smiles at me. <laughs> Thanks, pops. Hey, if you're not going to bed anytime soon, would you be game for some real shark hunters of Orange County? I love that show name. <laughs> I thought the last hunter got eaten by a shark. Mm. He did. I sit down next to her and cozy up with the blanket. Awesome. Dato completo. Give me that S rank. There it is. I have no idea what his voice line said. I'm going to have to listen for that later because he was way too quiet. And I wasn't able to appreciate. <gasps> Margarita Zone. Oh, I love the achievement name. It's funny. 